Hello, and this is my first video to upload to YouTube, and I figured what better way to start it off with a giant, unnecessarily large and complicated combination lock that I made in Minecraft, and it is over there in this big giant canyon that I had to dig out to fit it. And so basically it has four inputs, four buttons here, and you type them in the right combination. There's also a reset button here, and it will open up this door. And so I'm going to type in the combination now so that we can get inside. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And it takes about seven seconds, I think, I've counted, for it to get through the lock itself. Because it has to go all the way across the ocean, through the lock, and then back across the ocean. And this button also serves as a reset button. So it actually sends the reset signal, the same signal that gets sent by the reset button over there. Oh, come on, chicken. Get out of my way. Good job. Nope, it didn't move. Thank you. Okay. So, we're down here. This is my little circuitry cave area place where I keep all of my circuitry. Keep it not really clean and tidy at all. Anyway, these are the four buttons. And if I go over here to the reset button, and then I press them in the right combination. That one. That one. That one. And that one. In theory, about seven seconds later, this torch should light up and open the door. So, yep, there it goes. And if we go over here and send it the reset signal, about five seconds later, I think, the door will close. Because the reset signal does not have to go through, like, half of the lock. It only has to reset four things. And so it's much faster. Down here are the, the, the... This cave goes all the way out to the lock across the ocean. These three lines here are three buttons. This is the reset button. This is the fourth button. And this is the signal coming to open the door. And so I'm going to go all the way down here. I had to send this across the ocean because my house is situated in probably the worst possible place for doing this kind of thing. If I get below the water around it, there's lava and caves everywhere, and I really did not look forward to fixing that. And so I sent it across the ocean. The only drawback is that it actually doesn't render all of the chunks, so I actually have to go a little bit farther, a little bit past my house, and look at it in order for it to render everything because if it doesn't render everything it cuts off like right here and doesn't render all the um, all the rest of the combination lock so here is here are my four inputs with the reset button and there's a door up there which I was using to test earlier and I just didn't feel like getting rid of it this door will open when the combination lock um, unlocks and so I'm gonna go up here in my little viewing tower area platform and so basically it has these two wings which it sends the um, signal through for it to figure out whether or not multiple buttons are pressed at the same time because we used to have a problem with um, if you stepped on four buttons at the same time it would actually unlock it because they were all on you'd have to um, you'd have to delay them for it to actually work and this actually fixes that this actually fixes that problem so if you are stepping on multiple buttons at the same time the signal will not get through and these are all just bridges and things that go over wires. It looks much cleaner in the schematic that I made and then imported it into here. So here's button one. It is a quad input AND gate thing with three of the inputs inverted so that if any of these are on, this will not turn on. And I've got the same thing for button two over there. And over here, I will have the same thing as well. This whole setup actually takes over 1,600 pieces of redstone to make all the torches and all of the um, redstone wire. Or greenstone, should I say. 
I've been working on a little baby texture pack kind of thing on the side, and it's obviously very early. A little blue flame torch thingy. And it goes out here. We got another quad input and gate, and another one right here. And we will go over here to the, actually the lock itself. This is where all four inputs go into the lock system. So basically, here's input one. They've been rearranged so that this is one, two, three, and four in the combination. This, so this goes into an RS NOR latch. And basically, if this block that we're standing on gets any power for any amount of time, this torch will turn on forever and provide power to that until this block gets any power which will turn this torch off and turn this torch on it's currently in the reset position so this torch is on and that one's off it's the basic unit of it's the basic st storage facility whatever you want to call it it holds one bit either one zero on off that kind of thing and this is an and gate if both inputs are on this one will be on so when this one gets power it'll turn off when this one gets power it'll turn off allowing this one to turn on and then it sends it to the RS NOR latch for button 2 which does the same thing as the first one but this one when it turns on it sends the signal to the first RS NOR latch to reset so that we don't have buttons being pressed when they're not supposed to be and then this is the here's the AND gate for button three and RS NOR latch two, so that we take the output from this RS NOR latch and the input from button three and put them together so that when they're both on, it can send the signal to the RS NOR latch for button three, which works exactly the same, and it goes through and resets the second one, which is there somewhere, I don't know. And then we send it through another AND gate with number 4. This one, this one, goes through here. Turns this one on, and it sends it out to the door. And this, by the way, is the reset line. It basically goes all the way down and resets all of them when we press the reset button. And this goes all the way back to the door. Oh. Up, 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 down, up, 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 no. And then it goes all the way down here, and it goes all the way, the door signal goes all the way back. And that is how it all works. I'm going to try to include um, download links for the schematic file. And I guess a download link for the world if y'all want it. Um, feel free to criticize me, help me. I'm not exactly a professional here. I'm kind of new to this whole thing. And I would love to hear from people who know more than me. So thanks for watching and goodbye.